Hey guys, it's Infinity Break. I'm here to make a video on a topic that I just recently had to go through actually, and it had to do with the modding Oblivion in Skyrim, and not so much scripting or any of the load orders or anything like that. It had to do with memory, and it had to do with performance with the mods active. And I realized something is that it's not always your computer's fault when you're messing with mods, it's actually the application itself sometimes. So I'm going to be discussing this as I was recording the Infinity's Break, Infinity's Breaks uh, episode 1 through 4, and I had come into an issue where I was entering an alien dungeon that was the one directly across from the exit of the Imperial Sewers, and <clears throat> it was just, it was just terrible. The FPS was like 5 to 10 frames per second, and it was, it was almost unplayable. I was constantly talking about it. It was, it was the worst. <laughs> But I found a way to fix it, and it would be very important for you to know this information if you're getting into modding Oblivion or Skyrim or New Vegas or anything like that, as sometimes, like I said, it is not your computer, it is the application, and I'll explain more right now, actually. Okay, so like I said earlier, I was entering this alien dungeon in Oblivion, and I was wondering, I was like, my computer is really good. Majority of FPS drops or frame issues are caused by one of two things. It is one, your GPU or your graphics card, or if you know you have a good graphics card, it is actually your RAM. <clears throat> and it's not so much how much RAM you have automatically on your computer, it's how much that application is allowed to use. And what I found out was Oblivion by default does just does not take as much memory as it needs especially when you're modding like vanilla oblivion it'll run perfectly fine but the more stuff you add to it the more that extra stuff is going to start eating up the memory that's alloyed to your application so there's a huge issue with that mind you this is not just an fps problem this can also lead to unnecessary crashes when scripts are trying to load and the game is trying to find enough memory so that it can do the stuff it needs to do. Sometimes it just doesn't have enough memory and it pushes itself too far with what it has and it just like just crashes right then and there. It, it could be a freezing crash, it could be an instant close crash, it's just whatever. Typically I've come across them as they just close and I'm just sitting there like what the where'd the game go you know. You're like looking like it was just open why did it just close you know. But no. This is caused by an issue that I've I've had to fix three games now, New Vegas, Oblivion, and Skyrim, because of this simple issue. Okay, so I won't ramble on much longer. Just know that, first off, I am not the expert on computers. I've had to adapt really fast over the last year that I've had one, because I bought a computer for modding in the first place, so if you've got a computer and want to get into modding like me, uh, it's a complicated process because when you mod, I don't need to explain it too much, but you're messing with a lot of stuff that the game was not, you know, intended to have. And a lot of that is extra NPCs, uh, extra applications in the game themselves, like different animations, different quests, different voice acting, and a lot of unnecessary scripts that were not counted or were not accounted for when the game was being released and was being in its testing phase for stability and all that. So this really does mess with your computer. Uh, like I said, I won't ramble on much longer here. In fact, I think I'm done rambling right now. I'm going to show you the solution to get your games to run more stable, at least Oblivion, Skyrim, and Fallout. So bear with me here as I explain. So the first thing that you want to understand when you want to fix this problem is that Oblivion, specifically, I'm going to be talking about Oblivion, uh, when it came out, it was not during an age of these master race computers. It was a time when computer gaming was a lot simpler and graphics were just starting to evolve. And so Oblivion came out, it was being developed during a time when computers had very low specs. So, when I say one gigabyte of RAM is all that Oblivion was being accounted for at the time, I know, it sounds a little crazy. <laughs> but, understand that this is one of the reasons why so little memory was allocated towards the application, as it just wasn't 
you know, accounted for at the time. It was unheard of to have more than a certain amount of RAM. Just like right now, in the last four years, it's gone up from 8 gigabytes is the recommended to 16 is the least recommended. And me, sitting here with 24, is like, pretty decent. Um, so... The first thing you need to understand when you're trying to fix this issue is that it all has to stem from the fact that Oblivion is trying to run with only a little bit of RAM, and you can give it way more to run better. Okay, so the first step in fixing Oblivion is going to a little website here called www.tweakguides.com. And I will link this specific page in the description so you can just find this and we can like figure it all out together. The section we want to look at is a section called Memory, Loading, and Multithreading Variables. Okay? This one right here, this has the information we're going to use to fix the computer. Or specifically fix the application so it won't crash on our computer so often. The thing we're looking for here is you want to look for a thing in your oblivion folder here called u interior cell buffer equals 3 u exterior cell buffer equals 36 they're like right next to each other and give me a second while i try to find them find u interior Because it's somewhere in here. I believe it will be under... It's not that far from the top. I don't know why I'm looking down. Yeah, here it is. You interior cell buffer. And as you can see, I have changed mine from a 3 to a 24. And from a 20... Or a 36 to a 116. There was some simple math where he said if you got 1 gigabyte you keep it at 3. If you got 2 gigabytes, you increase the interior cell buffer to 6. And he said he had like even more or something and he was able to increase it to 16. So I just said I'm just going to increase it to 24 to be safe because I have like 24 gigabytes. If you have 16, I believe it won't give you that much more of a difference. But it should you should just change this to somewhere around 20. I changed it to 24. It works perfectly. And the exterior cell buffer, which will have everything else outside in the world of Cyrodiil and all that, I increased that to 116 to increase my performance outside of the dungeons and such. Um, so make sure you change these. And remi remember, you don't just want to change the Steam ones. You want to go into your games and you want to find... In your documents under my games not my music my games you want to find the games that you're working with and you want to find just oblivion or whatever and then you go down a little bit and you find it and you change it here as well it won't be that far from the top it's either oblivion 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 any but it's typically the first one you could find it so change it here as well, and then there is one more thing that you want to change on top of that. It's called the I preload size limit equals 26214400. I changed this. I changed this to the maximum, which you can say here, the I suggest the maximum, anyone should set, whatever, whatever. He says you should change it to about this number right here, 26214400, and that is roughly 250 megabytes, which I don't understand how this is any different than that. All I know is that it's allowing your game to have more memory to work with, which is important. Sorry, I'm like opening up OBS and all that nonsense, my computer's a mess, but you need to find that it is not that far from where you are currently at. Computers are confusing, so forgive me. Uh, I found it. The I preload setting is somewhere towards the top. Find it in the find bar with edit. Make sure you go down from where the original one that we just changed was the interior and exterior. You want to change this from whatever it is to this number here. 
oh, oh, oh. You are quadrupling the number so that you have quadrupled the amount of memory for whatever that it was trying to pull from earlier. It, you're giving it four times that, so it shouldn't have much of an issue. And it's not that big of a number. It's only 250 megabytes. That's not even a quarter of a gigabyte. And honestly, I'm pretty sure any modern computer, or laptop, or whatever can run that pretty comfortably. So you should be fine. Uh, make sure you change that in here, and you change that in the um, in the Steam version. That's the big thing. When you change anything for a mod, you change it in every folder. Every instance of it needs to be changed. If it is not, you will have an issue where stuff is being reverted back to what it was before because it's reading one file and not the other one, or it's reading both of them and you're getting conflicts and it says, this one's the original, so it reads that one over the other one. And sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. It's just a matter of whether or not you're actually like lucky in that case. So just to be safe, you want to change both of them, always. Also, just to point out, some of you might be like, where is the uh, I preload size limit in the Steam version? I could only find it in my physical, like, my computer version, like the files on my computer, not in the Steam folder. I couldn't find it. So I changed it in one, and I changed the U interior and U exterior in both, and I only changed the I preload size in the one that I could actually find it in, and it worked fine. Uh, my computer still ran the dungeons and everything a lot smoother, so don't be worried too much if you only change the I preload in one file and you can't find it in the other. I feel like there's only one version of it in one of those two folders, so just find the one you can find, change it to that number, and you should be fine. Anyway, that should be it. There really isn't much else you can do. I'm sure there are other application mods that can be used to stabilize Oblivion a little bit more, remove some of the glitches, remove a lot of the stuttering and all that nonsense. Um, I am by no means a computer expert, but I feel like this information was extremely important. It took me like an hour or two to figure out, uh, mostly because I could not handle the FPS drops in the dungeons in Oblivion. It was just beyond ridiculous. And... I think at the end of the day what's important to realize is that with crashes, FPS drops, is it is not the computer, it is your memory. Skyrim is a great game, it can go for a very long time without having issues and then once you reach a certain point in the game with mods and everything, you will start crashing like crazy, it's ridiculous. There are ways to fix it and it's the same solution with this, you allow the application to have more memory. So if you can figure that out, you can fix a lot of your problems with some of these games. Trust me. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. This has been Infinity Break, reminding you all to, like always, eat well, play well, and live well. And always strive to go out there and break infinity, guys. If you liked what you watched here today, subscribe, like, maybe. I know I'm begging, but come on, guys. Give me a chance. See what I can do here. Um, stay tuned for more videos like this. The Oblivion Let's Play will be going up within the next couple well next couple hours i think and there will be a study of the elder scrolls part 2 daggerfall will be up soon so stay tuned for all that great content i'll be putting out all of it soon so stay with me